Thank you. A group of the 13 missionaries from Chapin are on their way back to the Midlands after being trapped in Haiti for several days. This is video from earlier tonight after the group landed at the Atlanta airport. Deadly protests over higher gas prices prevented them from leaving their camps until today. Nick Jones is in Chapin tonight. And Nick, any idea what time they're going to drive back into that area tonight? JR, they're hoping to get here around 11 30, 12 o'clock, but I'll tell you what, it's been a long couple of days for the people here at Chapin United Methodist Church. They didn't know exactly when they're going to come home, but I'm telling you what, they're going to be ecstatic once they finally set foot in this parking lot, knowing that they're finally home. Now, over 100 Americans were stuck over in Haiti due to the riots that were happening over in the streets, and 13 of those were from this mission group here at Chapin United Methodist Church. Now, the Mission of Hope says that the people of Haiti were displeased because of a 40% increase of fuel prices over in that area, so that's why people were displeased and was causing issues for folks flying out of the area. Now, the, I talk, did talk to the pastor here at the church, Jody Flowers. He tells me that they were landing at, 11, uh, at Atlanta around 7 o'clock, and everybody's accounted for, everybody's happy, everybody's safe, and they're going to get ready. Uh, they're heading down this way currently. They're expected to be here around 11 o'clock tonight. Now, one of the leaders, Emily Wheaton, that was on the trip says they weren't really concerned about their safety. They had people taking care of them. They made sure they had food that was delivered to them and make sure that they were okay. But uh, obviously, a lot of the families, a lot of the pastors made sure that they got to Atlanta to see them when they finally arrived back on U.S. soil. And really, everybody's ecstatic. But they're hoping to be here around 1130 to 12 o'clock. But we'll bring you those updates and we'll bring them online and on air as soon as they do get here in Chapin, Jr. All right, uh, Nick, I know you'll be there for the happy homecoming once they get off I-20. Thank you so much, Nick.